You were walking through the earth Letting your worries paint your face I was playing Rob's guitar But still it might if it would pay Marissa, we made it. After four years, through thick and thin, here we are. It's crazy how God works in his plan for us. I was certain I was going to marry you the first month we started dating. I, I was a bit of an overzealous idiot, but uh, I screwed everything up multiple times. But praise God and his grace that that little boy would grow up and become a man you deserve. My sweet Thomas, I am so full of joy and butterflies to be standing in front of you right now. I cannot believe the day is finally here. And it's truly amazing how I love you more and more every day. I've been praying for this day, oh no, <laughs> ever since I was a little girl. And you surpassed my wildest dreams and expectations. <laughs> I've seen tremendous growth in not only myself, but in you. I saw this young girl turn into a strong, confident woman of God. I'm always learning from you and forever grateful for your never-ending love and grace. You've constantly and consistently shown me. Without fail, you've always been my support, my anchor, my safe haven, my sunshine. And if I ever feel You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I am so overwhelmed when I think about how you love me that I am literally brought to tears. I didn't think it was possible for anyone to ever love me as much as you do and as well as you do. The capacity of which you love is unconditional and selfless. You sacrifice your own wants and needs daily just for me. You always point me towards Jesus for my source of joy and hope and confidence. You've never given up on me, ever, and you pursue me daily. You've taught me countless things, and I really wouldn't be the person I am standing before you today without you. You've been with me through so much. The first time I've ever said I love you, which you immediately responded with, I love you too. The first time you cried tears of joy, because, well, no one has ever loved you the way that I loved you. And our first separation, which you wrote me letters every day for four months. There were more firsts. Our first heartbreak, breakup, tragedy, all the highs and all the lows. But I can confidently say, without a doubt, that it's all been worth it. Because in the end, I have you. I couldn't ask for more. You are truly a shining example of Christ's love for me. Words fail to describe how much you mean to me and how incredibly blessed I am to have you as my husband. So today, I vow to love you as well as you love me. I vow to serve you with joy on the good days and the bad days. I vow to never give up on you, your heart, and our family. I promise to trust you with all that I am. I promise to follow wherever you lead. I vow to support you, your passions and desires. I also vow to always support your Chick-fil-A obsession. I promise to stand by your side in all circumstances. No matter what trials and challenges we face in this life together, I promise to encourage you and point you to Jesus the best way that I can. I promise to comfort you in times of pain and laugh with you in times of joy. I promise to pick you up whenever you're feeling down. I vow to always do what I can to keep that sweet smile on your face. I vow to keep life fun and exciting and encourage your silly personality. I vow to respect you as the man that you are. I vow to never stop praying for you. I could go on forever, but I promise you this. I will never stop choosing to love you. You're my whole world, Thomas Taylor. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And I love you most. I vow to hold you, regardless of our circumstances. I vow to trust you with all of me completely. I vow to protect you through any storm or hardship. I vow to honor you. I vow to serve you in the same likeness of Christ. 
I vow to put you first above everything other than Christ. I vow to always be honest and to always be humble. I vow to being a man like Christ, one who can lead you well, a man who is known for love and respect, a man our future children will be proud of, a man who goes on his knees in prayer before facing any hardship, trial, or storm, a man who honors you and fears God. And I vow to love you unconditionally, no matter what, for the rest of my life. I love you, my mercy. Thomas, you may now <laughs> kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Thomas and Marissa Taylor. Let's give them a hand. Somehow I've got what's most